I'm a swamp sniper here going out into the Wild West 3 with my daughter, Madison. Super stoked about this. The world has already begun. I told my boys we're gonna meet up at the saloon at 11. Oh, I'm sorry, but if you're walking, I'm running. I'm, I'm not doing it. Oh my gosh, I can't walk in boots. Oh, check it out. Check it out. Real, real python here. Real python. <laughs> Guess what? What? We're in our own world. Mayor's office sold some of that poison swill moonshine to a child, and this, this is the result. That's a dead child. We're in a free world. Careful. <laughs> Pull your pistol out and go like this. Cock that hammer back. Just don't pull the trigger yet. Okay, now. All right, now she's ready to shoot. Excuse me, GoPro, are you on? Are you Are you even on? Shame, 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 shame. Howdy. How's it going, everyone good? How are you? Welcome out. Thanks for coming. Why are they in the Uh, I don't know. You know? Good morning. Good morning, gentlemen. Mr. Chris, are you on your beef jerky hunt? I am not. No? But I'm always open to whatever this land brings me. Hopefully you're bad. Do your worst. What? No. I need to see the bank. Are you threatening me? Oh, okay. Hey, now, nah, we don't take them. Oh, my gosh. Thank you. This is the first one. What's your name? Eric. Eric, you're a king. Good having you out here. Safe. Arthur, you got a warrant for your arrest. <laughs> How are you doing, Doug? Good. What's up? Um, I'm just here I'm, I'm, I'm to tell you that if anybody if, if gets in your nerves, call me up and out. I'll take them out. All right. Sounds good. I, I, I would charge like 4 to $5 for the head. Okay, sorry. His fingers on the trigger, he just cocked it back. I'm like, yeah. Sounds good. What what do they call you? D, D Bone, former British military. Alright, I'll just call you Bone. Thank you. Sure. Right. Hey! Hello. How you doing? Look at this. We got family out here. It's good. Did you guys get money from the bank? Everyone gets to start with five dollars from the bank. Is there someone will at Madison? Are you willing to hold on to this glorious beef jerky? I hope to meet up with my boy John, who's got all of my land deeds from last year. I'm sorry. <laughs> How you doing? I'm sorry. I will, and I'm in, in a in a short bit. Oh, okay. Howdy. Sheriff Candy. Man, do I have some information for you. Oh, really? Yeah, because of our long and friendly past, I, I just want to let you know that we got some correspondence from a Texas Ranger who I'm not sure is actually uh, part of the law. They're looking for someone, the sniper of the swamps, and uh, someone named Jet and Leah, and they want to... Uh... Oh, really? Yeah. Someone named Phoenix. He's trying to rile things up early. He came out first thing with uh, very important, impressive looking documents. Uh, has your name on it? Said something about someone sold some Limburger cheese on a Sunday <laughs> in Texas, and apparently that's illegal. So, do you have them letters that the Phoenix brought? Oh, Dan Lord. Took, wanted to give you a heads up because, you know, we, we've got a long past here. A lot of letters. That was Chris. Looks a little familiar. All right. Yeah. So I just wanted you to, to have a, a heads up. So there's one for Jet and Leah? Yeah, which they're right down there. We haven't talked to them yet about it. I'll, I'll send them over to you to what? receive the letters. All right, I'm sorry. The crimes of milking a stranger cow without their permission. I didn't think you would do such a thing. An act of shooting and or killing a buffalo from the second floor of a hotel. That sounds, that doesn't sound like you either. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> no, that, I, I've <laughs> never done any. I yeah, didn't think fail, so. you peril, blah, 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 witness. Well, good thing we're not in Texas. That's what I said. I'll There's no around, jurisdiction sir. here for me to arrest you for that. <laughs> I don't extradite. That sounds like taxes. <laughs> hey, hey uh, you ever uh, need to join up? We're uh, making a little pause. Okay, cool. I'm just, so I just back. need to re-register all my investments in these parts. Check back, we'll be here. Sounds great. Howdy, partner. Good. Hey, here we go. 
Here we go. How you doing, sir? Hey, welcome, welcome. It's been a while. It has. Good to see you back in these parts. What did I get you? Good to be back in these parts. I have no money or anything yet. Oh, give me, give me some of your best, strongest, cold stuff. I wish I could get one here for my daughter. Here you go, my friend. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Well, I'll, get, I'll get you a drink in a little bit. Get one. You're asking to buy my daughter a drink? <laughs> as long as she gets a straw with it. Can Doug buy you a drink, Maddie? No. No? She doesn't want a drink. <laughs> you can always go when there's two pairs. Look who it is. You them, you them from out west. <laughs> I just came up with that word. How you doing? Pretty good. It's been a long time. Yes, I have. I shouldn't have left you without a dope beat to step to. Mm. <laughs> oh, surprise! <laughs> well, first off, I'm Swamp. I know we Swamp. met before. Yep, Jethro D. Fox. Jethro D. Fox. I'm Sw Annie Smokely. Annie Smokely. <laughs> awesome. Nice to meet you. This is my daughter Maddie. Hi, Maddie. Oh, Great to meet you. Jethro. Smokely, did you go to the bank and get your $5? Yeah, we did. Okay, good, good. So look, I walked up, the sheriff was like, I got news for you. State of Texas, the crime of milking a stranger cow without their permission in the act of... Uh... <laughs> what did he just say? What did he say? He said, stick him up. Uh, I just turned around. He said, you caught me in the act and just ran away. <laughs> I was about to shoot him for real. In the act of shooting and or killing a buffalo from the second floor of a hotel. I'm Whoa. guessing the first or the third floor would be fine. Okay. Anyway, we're not in Texas. It's from the Phoenix. Dang, so you're a wanted man. You guys need to go see the sheriff. There's letters for you too. Oh. Got some correspondence. We need to keep our eyes out. I don't know their intention, but it's easy to go through these events without killing, and then you regret it. If people are threatening us, we need to make a name for ourselves and be like, you don't threaten us. <laughs> hey, baby girl. Oh, let's get our money from the bank. How you doing? Hey, thank you very much. I appreciate you. What's your name? Bodie Anderson. Bodie Anderson? All right. Well, I appreciate you. Thank you. Jerky carrier. You find Sir Herder at the post office over there? It, it will help you with all your mail in needs. The best uh, post office in the States. All right. Sounds great. He would later be known as Kid the Kid. And trust me. He's anything but innocent. Now to check my bank account from the last event. How y'all doing? Good morning, sir. Good morning. I heard you all were giving five dollars, Huckle. Hand it away. Worst business model of our lives. <laughs> it creates return customers. <laughs> five dollars for you. Thank you. Oh, no, wait, well, oh, wait, wait, I, running I mean, running short. what are you looting her? $5. Darn it. You should have just hit me. Should have ran. No, we're we're honest folk, honestly. I have a question. I opened an account here a while ago and I was wondering how much is in my account. What's the name on the account? Christopher Ratton. They call me Swamp. Right, you currently have 322 in your account. $3.22? 3 dollars 22 like 322 That's what I like to hear right there. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. What is your name on your account? And I literally have $5. Right, right. Let's see how much you can sell this gold for. Let's see you barter. I'll see you soon. Yeah, and, and... Um, I actually have some gold. How much is it? Um, we are playing right now $20 a piece. Oh, wow. Can I go? Oh, oh, oh. Yes, you may. Yo. Last name? What is your name, sir? Douglas Dad. How much would you like to put into your account? How much that is. <laughs> oh, you make them do the work? I counted it. However up. much that is. Yo, is there a hundred in there? Sixty. Oh my gosh, dude. All right, I wanna know how much that is. I need to find my guy and validate the land investment because we only have like 17 minutes to do so. $581 minus five would be $476. Mm. Oh, perfect. So, so 581? $581. Sir, good to know you. Good to be your friend. <laughs> Thanks for that. Yeah. 
All right, I'm gonna be back. I have some investments that I need validated. I just need to find those investments. Yes, sir. All right, where's our people at? Yeah. How's it going there? Going good. How are you? Um, I'm all right. I'm looking for Mr. Man Bear Pig. He's wanted for questioning. He has a bear skull on his head with bear claws on around the neck. I don't know the sort. All right, where is my guy with my land and my deeds? How you gentlemen doing? Good, sir. How are you? Good. Oh, look at God. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Woo you know what I mean? Gentlemen, can we uh, can we meet up at the, at the bank? Right now? Sure. Fufu, good to see you again, brother. You're the guy who can't catch no fish, right? It doesn't help because I just tried to fish and didn't catch anything. Oh, really? So that doesn't help at all. You're, you know what? You'll probably catch one before me. Hey, everyone. Who's, who's going to catch a fish first? Fulcher or me? Me, right? I'm gonna give him $1,000 in cash if he catches it. No, I'm not. That's, that's on tape, that's on recording. <laughs> John. Are you wanna... allowed to accept homemade jerky? I am. All right, this is called Dragon Fire. All right, and your name? Uh, Declan. Declan Bohannon. Thank you, not Mr. Bohannon. Thank Pleasure. You want me to at the bank real quick? Yes, sir. I feel like hey, it's a safe environment. The guy with the bear hat? He's over there. He's right. right there, you're welcome. You owe me $5. <laughs> Howdy. <laughs> So you all are validating uh, land deeds, correct? Yes, sir. Which gyms do you got? I've been looking forward to this for a year. Okay, gyms like that. Um, I'm so excited about this. Yeah. Did you get yours validated? Oh, okay. So this is good. This is really good. The small gold ones. I created this event so that each time you play, the assets you earn pass on from one to the next. And it's really rewarding when you actually realize it's there. Doug's got $581 he just put into an account. Now he had it from the last one. He decided to put it in so it doesn't get looted. The mayor would be extremely interested in this land game. Oh, really? He's trying to develop the town, so maybe... Oh, well, my name's on there too. Yeah, sure. Who's who's that? Oh, this was signed over to me. Okay. Are all these properties under you? Um, we need to look at that actually. Are you serious? I knew it was a lot, but no, because this is some of it is just individuals and stuff. Thank you so much. Lot one. Is that you? No, that's me. That's you? Yeah. It looks like you solely own lot one. Alright, look, here. we're all on this. Yes. 277? That's me. I mean, so here's the deal. We got a lot of land and I'm hoping to live like gods in this game. And also, oil's gonna be introduced, which gives $500 oil bonds every couple hours. You, if your lot happens to strike oil on four. That's also one right there. Okay, that's got structures on it. How'd you like to become a landowner? This is the land that we own. We own a lot of land. We're quite wealthy. Uh, our group. But your name's not officially on anything, so you'd have to become part of a buyer. Do we want to subdivide one of these? Because if we subdivide, that counts as a thing and we can, we're done with it. 300, we could split that. Ain't there talk about oil being found on places? They are, they are trying. They have the uh, the trappers out there now. They have the, uh, the, the douses that run around. Okay, okay. They get lucky. Um, how much is it to subdivide into three lots, lot 300? Currently $75. Yeah, that's cool. But first, how much is it to add someone to my deed. Madison. That would be free, no additional fee. There's two people on here. You're gonna become part of lot 300. There are 11 custom achievement coins and land ownership is one of them. If you get all 11, you get the metal victory coin. We would like to subdivide that. I only have $5 on there. I'm fine with this. Can I uh, use $75 from my account to subdivide that? You know, but you are now a landowner, my lady. You know, and names on these three? We sat, we're signing on buyer. Yep. Just wherever, since you guys are still only on lots, okay. it doesn't matter. Just imagine if 300 was one of the ones that struck oil. 
<laughs> all right, all right. Sir, was that quite an achievement? Yes, sir, quite indeed. Yes, we do. So now we move on and do whatever we want. Thank you so much, sir. You're wonderful, sir. We're wealthy. We got how much you got in your account? We've got a thousand dollar bond. Five hundred. I got around three hundred. Yes, sir. Oh, Chris, I wanted to give you a present. All right. I'm gonna spend it all in one place now. We're due. Whichever. All right. Well, thank you, sir. That's really exciting. Oh, my. Oh. Wow. Sir, what do we call you? Marston. Marston? Awesome. That'll get you some value. I like that. Hey, sweetheart. That's for you. For being awesome. Oh, let's get a bandage. I got one. We have like three. Yeah, one. I want to get one for Maddie. I want to, I want to do that. We'll just get a bandage real quick. The important part is we have those properties. Yes, sir. Oh, wow. It is, it has been asleep for a week, but it's still alive. It's carpenter beat, does it sting? Giving this to me as a gift? Thank you, sir. Thank you. It's a sleeping carpenter bee. You can give that to the... I will let you hold on to that. Because <laughs> you grabbed it. We're all out of bandits. You guys waiting in line? Alright. See those two gents that walk back there? Hmm? There's two gentlemen that walk back there? Why don't you guys slip over there? Take them out. Take all the cash they have. I challenge you. Prove yourselves. Go do it. Go make it happen. If, if you're up for it. Go do it. Let's see. Let's see. Normally the guys that roll with me, it's like really boring for them and everything. We'll see if they can accomplish this quest. Hey, how you doing, sir? Hi there. Swamp. Good to see you. Good to see you. You used to, uh... You used to just be a skilled shooter out in these parts, right? Well, I put that life behind me. I'm trying to make a better life of it. Life okay. More lucrative. Okay, awesome. You're out of bandages. Everybody's out of bandages. There should be a, a supply run with some coming in within the hour. Okay. But everybody in town seems to be out of bandages, as far as I know. All right. I see. I see one of these little chicks down here. Are they for sale? Oh, uh, no, they are not. They're not even supposed to be visible right now. Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, why don't we take this one? Yeah, yeah. There's no chickens here, sir. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, you should have kept that one under your hat. Okay. All right. Did, well, uh, did someone send you a looking for chickens? Did someone send me looking for them? Now, that suggests that someone wants these, which means I may have walked into a good situation. I just don't know what it is. Maybe. Maybe. Why don't you meet me around the side with that delivery, sir? Why don't you meet me around the side with the delivery? I'm getting in the... You trade that for do, do, do you know this? It's red belt. Is that how it works? You can trade it for... I don't know what the deal is. I'm bluffing. I don't know what the... I do know there's a rancher down south who deals with illegal goods, so maybe it's a quest item for him. There's a man who lives two lives. You cannot be too careful these days with the prescription against chickens in town. Did someone send you to buy chickens? I just know that there's a man who lives two lives. I'm hoping he'll buy that and he wants some chickens. I don't got this to trade for it. Hmm. All right, so chickens are at a premium. I'm looking at $10 per chicken. That's probably a $10 pelt. Give me $20 and you got two chickens. You're going to get yourself three chickens. $20 in the pelt. What do you say? I say we do it. It used to go for 50, but I'll accept it given the uh, nature of the arrangement. I don't doubt that you could get 50 from somebody, but in this general store at this time, that pelt's worth $10. You okay with that? Yeah. All right. You Let's got $20? And I'll get you some chickens. Let's buy some chickens, girl. What are the chickens for them? They're illegal. I've got two hens and a rooster right here. <laughs> All right. Yes, All right. I will take the chickens, uh, not my basket. That's extra. You can have the basket you need. Okay. Five dollars. Okay. Um, right here. We're gonna split. Yeah, we'll split them up. And you didn't get them from here. Oh, I know that, sir. You have a great day. Now get out of here, you drifters. Get out. I didn't even know that chickens were illegal, but that means they must be important, they must be valuable, and it might play out well for us. <laughs> yes. How you doing? Hi. You might have heard of me. I'm the woman. I'm running for mayor. 
The woman. I am the woman. I'm running for mayor. Well, ain't that fine. We're working on trying to get rid of taxes because we believe your money is your money. There's some other folks running saying that they don't need education anymore for these folks. And we just, I just don't care for that. I think we need education still. I agree. But we have, we have a lousy mayor. He's been poisoning the moonshine and blaming it on the saloon. Hmm. What are you going to do for property owners? Property owners? What would you like to see done for the property owners? I want to see more exploration into oil. Okay. I want more resources and don't get me wrong, but I wouldn't mind if there was a tax if it helped find more oil out here. Because okay. I happen to be part of a group that owns a significant amount of property. So and maybe using your the taxes, a, a small amount of It's going to help everything in the economy if we discover some oil, but we don't have the resources to go out looking, yes, and sir. there's only a handful. Yes, sir. What's your name, sir? My name's Swamp. Okay. Very nice to meet you, Swamp. And your name is? Micah. Okay, Not I thought you were going to stick with the woman. Micah, but every... But I get but, it. The but, woman running the for woman mayor. The woman running for mayor. Micah. All right. Wonderful to meet you. This is my daughter, Maddie. Hello. Maybe she could Pleasure aspire to be you. mayor one day. We, we, I hope to change things. Sounds awesome. Change things for the future. All right, find us some oil. All right, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I could use a mayor that calls me sir. <laughs> Something we've added this year for the two-day event is actual newspapers that come out with relative information. Sir, I will take a paper from you at no cost to you. All right. Thank well, you. We'll I'm bring them in and take them out of my hands, people. <laughs> All right. Roads out, jelly in. <laughs> hey, you want to buy a, a train ticket? Go around on the train? Mayor Jelly, to bring town into new era. Oh, I think there's some interesting stuff. There's Jet and Leah. Morse code. Hey, there's a uh, puzzle. You boys all right? No, we died. Did you really? Yeah. How'd you get up? Did you spawn? They, no, we did, they were walking towards a group of people we didn't want to stir. Oh, okay. Okay. It's called a prank. I found this futuristic device. Doc Brown dropped it. Oh, look at that. Second Back to the Future reference. It's a man named Swamp Sniper. Mm. Hooey! Put a QR code for your own YouTube channel. Absolutely. Oh my god. It's, it's should, in should, all of the papers. Ashamed. It's in all of the you papers. It's called Shameless for a reason. Swamp Sniper, I do believe that's for you. Yes, sir. That's awesome. Where'd this come from? Uh, it's come from the shop over there, the one with the top right. Appreciate it. Oh, the train's already gone. I like that was so quiet. I guess we're gonna head on foot to get some achievements done. Going to the gallery. This is a beautifully made, beautifully sealed thing. Your wagon is valuable, protect it. Only $50, but a lifetime value. Bill's wagon warranty. Offer does not include trail side assistance, <laughs> vet bills, horse care, or other expenses. Bill is not responsible for any fraud or stolen goods. All right. Wait a minute. That's technically spam mail. <laughs> no, thank you. Done, done, done. I'm already getting spam mail in the West. So close. Oh. Oh, so close. Better look next time. One, two, three, four, five. It's dollar per. Dollar per. You and you got three choices of how you want to do it. Okay. Here's for the five of us. All right. If so I may. So your choices are any of them poker chips once, win a hand of blackjack, or beat me in quick draw. I'm going for the poker chip. All right. You get six shots. Do you what, sir? I get six shots, sir. You get, you get six shots. Okay. And I can use any gun I want. Yes. <laughs> well, now that we have established the rules, I find that very agreeable. Let's see if it's actually worthwhile. I thought this shotgun would be a huge advantage, but they can be really spotty. Those don't do well. I've never shot this thing. Well, hopefully you're bad. Do your worst. Oh. That's an instruction, by the way. Please do your worst. <laughs> <laughs> Which one are you going for? I'm going for the blue one, sir. Up at the top? Right. Yep. Oh, no. Well, I did say do your worst, and you did. Stand by. <laughs> it misfired. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm gonna try it one more time. So does that count as one of my shots is gone since it I'm gonna uh, say shot? No. I'm gonna say no. Here we go. 
What? I feel like that was arguable about where they went. I'll have to go with my trusty smoke wagon. Better. There it is. Get long enough, see? Sometimes the best ones are the old standby. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right. You got it, John? Sure, the target, do your worst. And two shots? That's good. Oh, two shot down. <laughs> the way he said that. First shot. I doubt that. No, he got it. How much you pay him? <laughs> yeah, well, look. Not on camera, not real. Look, better at fishing and shooting. Uh, I paid I him to give you the coin. <laughs> oh, okay. And no, say no. that you hit it. No, you, no, you, you, can, you can put that down. <laughs> All right, congratulations. Hold, hold I accept it. <laughs> hold for that. Even a blind nut finds a squirrel every now and then. Right. Not, not the right thing. Very Almost. Oh, you Almost. Oh, oh, that was close. Oh, oh close. that like almost touched. Good luck next time, miss. All right, sweetheart, we'll, right, we'll give it a shot next time. All right, let's head over this way. Head down the tracks. Her first time shooting a revolver, and she was close. Mm -hmm. We're gonna head over to the trapper and see if he needs any help. How you doing? Howdy. You need to see. Oh wow. Oh, it looks like there's a nature scientist collecting insects. Yeah. Ma'am, you're looking for insects? I am. I'm hoping to build an entomology museum in town to educate the town folk about the natural world around them. Okay, that's wonderful. Well, we got a semi-frozen sleeping carpenter bee that we figured you might be interested in. I would definitely be interested in that. So the two of us, ma'am, found this one. Wow, that is incredible. Thank you so much for your contribution to the museum. Oh, Hopefully wonderful. it'll start up soon. Thank you. And can you please read that? This one? No, that this one. one. I'm so worried. You know that this one? It was supposedly, it you was bought, sleeping. He's, he's taking a long nap. <laughs> well, let, let's try to maybe, you know, CPR or something, okay? okay. Does anybody know BPR? It's a crash cart. Hey, <laughs> there you go. Yeah. With uh, Pinkerton Detectives, how you doing, sir? Oh, good. How are you? Good. We're helping Mr. Candy around town. We were sent down from DC. All right. Uh, we've heard actually a lot about you. You're uh, kind of a <laughs> iffy member down here. I hear. Oh. Both doing good and bad. No, I've done no wrong in these parts. Oh. I'm actually quite a uh, a land investor. Okay. And I'm trying to move things forward towards oil. Trying to get some oil. Yep. Okay. Well, congratulations on that. Thank we, hope, you. we hope you the best. Um, do you have any information for us? Uh, being the fact that we're detectives, we need to know as much about your area as possible. I have one bit of information. Okay. Being that I've never caused any problems. Okay, we'll gladly spread that around. Maybe you might want to look into the legitimacy of this uh, wagon warranty. Fifty dollars seems pretty steep to me. So yeah, so that, that, would, that would be trash for you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Excellent. I've got a lot of land. Okay. I could put some money towards making sure right. he much. doesn't cause any problems. Well, with that actually being said, do you need low number. Like any low number? One, two, three, seven, eight, nine, ten. Real, real low numbers because right. the mayor is looking to buy one of those low number lands for a substantial amount of money. Seriously, how much? He did not tell us. He just said a substantial. He said, he said come to him with you, whoever I find okay. with that person, and he will definitely make it worth our while and the land. We've got two low number lots. That could be real valuable to Thank us. Thank you very much. This is for that information. Thank you. Yes, sir. About the plot. You're awesome. We're cool. Oh, okay. I found oh. this uh, when I was in D.C. My goodness. Be a buffalo bull. Please enjoy. Thank you. That's awesome. Yes, sir. What do I call you? CJ Riker. CJ Riker. Yes, sir, with the uh, Pinkerton. All right, gentlemen. Well, thank you very much. And if you need anything, please, by all means, let us know. All right. Mr. Trapper, yep. it's been a while. I helped you uh, back in the day very poorly uh, destroy a pest. Uh-huh. Uh, do you need any help right now, sir? Yeah, I've got... Right now, there are two turkeys, a coyote, and a jackrabbit. If you can deal with those competently, I might have something else for you that's a little bit more, more tricky. It's a real nuisance for me. All right. I got him without looking. That's one. That's two. Rabbit. That's three. Oh my gosh, a coyote. <laughs> It like hit the branch and 
Got it. So I shot four of them, but crazy thing, it looks like four more just came back in their place. I know, they, they have nests. They're multiplying like crazy. <laughs> There's a turkey right here. So aim it with, put the sight, tip of the sight in there and right on it. You know what I'm saying? Put that, oh, nice. Nice. Oh, I gotta watch the shelf, okay. Yeah! Real quick, while I still have you here, I do have a bit of a more difficult thing. There is a wild boar around here. Allison, you got all of them. First shot. You're about to get a taste of a legend. We call him Drift Pig, and he later becomes his own deputy. Yet? No, sir. All right. Thank you. Helping out the trapper. Sir, thank you very much. Yep, no problem. That was funny. Right. Station 757. You know what? We take the train. We have three chickens. We say we got three chickens illegally. We go uh, to the rancher. We knock that out. We just be done. And Maddie, be careful. Make sure you don't. Whoa, that was shady. Hey, do you think, hey guys, do you think we could do all of them? You mean all, you mean all of yeah. them behind you? Yeah, yeah. Do the whole village? Does anybody want this? Oh. Oh, I'll try a piece. Madison, you want to shoot these uh, boys with us? We'll do it if I say yeehaw, and then we'll rob them, okay? Yes or no? Sure. Okay. No, we're waiting for the train. But first, we're going to shoot and loot you guys. Y'all know when the train's coming this way? Brothers, you did find something. You look like the kind of man who might have some money to purchase said something. What do you have? Only the biggest, featheriest, wild. most wildest bird ever we ever did find back there. Oh really? Oh yeah. Had to wrestle it down, and I thought I was gonna lose me an eyeball and my baby brother right here. He did lose something else. I did. We can't. And all it's gonna cost you is fifty little dollars, man. Fifty dollars. Fifty dollars for my bird. How? Uh, who would I sell it to? You would sell, I, It's a quest item. It's a bird. It's all right. A, Oh. How many people do you Ranch know that has a bird? All right, you right there, sir. You General got a bird? Do you, have, you a bird? have a bird? Do you have a bird? See, he doesn't Nobody have a bird. a bird. He doesn't have a bird. I bet you money he doesn't have a bird. Not that I have money. I have a bird and an egg. All I'm saying is, it's better to have a bird than to not have a bird. I'm all right. I'm going to pass on the bird for now. What about for $25? Yeah, that's a steal to do. Uh, our problem is we don't we don't got money, and we're just trying to figure you're out between us. Trying to get on a train, and you don't have money. And we're trying to figure out between between us how we can buy a ticket. We With have a bird, we no, we have some money. You guys blowing up dynamite? What? Are you blowing up dynamite? Dynamite's illegal around here. Is it? Oh, okay. Hey guys, there's some. Uh, I think there's some big ants over by this tree. Have you heard the train coming or not? <laughs> I don't know about ants, but I'm prepping to shoot them. Gotcha. No, we're waiting for the train. We desperately need to go on a train and, so that we can go to the uh, town and get some water. Uh, that's important. Yeah, yeah. We'll pay for the train with the money we take off your dead bodies. Dear Lord, please send us this train. But these two guys come walking up, so that could be a problem. You know what, we'll do it anyway. Hey, you two gentlemen, how you doing? Good. I want you to know that you guys are good and can chill out, but yee-haw! Right there. Oh. Now, why'd you guys got to open fire on us like that? Hey, hey, we're cool, guys. Y'all need to chill out. That guy with the rifle. Hey, guys, do the thing. Do the thing. It's been 20 seconds. Sir, do you have any money on you? We're just trying to buy a train ticket. Sir, do you have any money on you? No, I miss you. None? Do you have a gameplay item on you? I'm not going to steal that from you. Oh, is there a warrant out on one of these dudes? I got five off of Five dollars? Okay, that's great. Have any of y'all seen a man about his height wearing the same mask and bandana? Uh, what did you say the words on his shirt was? Zoo York. Zoo York. Zoo York? <laughs> uh, no, we have not. We're just trying to we're just trying to get a train ticket and these fellers here open fire on us. Hey, hey come come on, your money. Come on, I was like, just let's chill out, you know what I mean? We're good folks in these lands. What are you lands. doing? 
been over there with you. <laughs> no, whoa, well, hold up, hold up. Don't put your gun don't, down. Don't bones. do that. Bones. Don't do bones. that. Bones. Brother. <laughs> We're gonna shoot you. What? Don't do it. What are you doing? <laughs> you were aiming at my nephew. My nephew wasn't doing anything. Yeah, and his nephew happens to be my friend, so chill out. <laughs> All right, we're cool. These poor dudes have to head back to spawn. God bless you, gentlemen. Hope you learned a lesson. Just don't open fire on us next time for no reason. My bad. Got that right. Let's just do that every chance we get. Because that was kind of fun. It was a little hard. What did you get from We only got $5. One of them had a bug, and one of them had a jar of magnesium. And I was like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna take his only like, whatever that is, right? I don't know what that's for. So then we hop on the train and begin our adventure to the rancher, where we find a pretty big surprise. Now my last video where I destroyed computers and iPads and 30 household items, I said I would give away this $400 brand new Scorpion Evo by ASG, and I'm gonna do that right now. So many of you posted positive and encouraging comments, but the winner is Caleb Bradley. Congratulations. Hit me up in the about section, business inquiry email, and I'll get you your blaster. But for this video, it pains me to say it, but I'm giving away my very own Elite Force Smoke Wagons Legends Revolver. I even signed it for you right there. Woo to win this revolver, it's simple. Like the video, subscribe if you haven't, and answer this question. How many birds were amongst everyone there when the bird man was trying to sell us the turkey? How many birds? We're there. I'll announce the winner in episode two of the Wild West 3 at Balahack Airsoft. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Whatever you do in life, stay safe, enjoy it, be creative, never lose your childlike wonder. Hang in there and peace.